today is a bit of a different video I just got the Instax SQ6 and I haven't shot a single shot with it this is a instant film camera and today I'm going to be doing all of my tests to see how the camera operates so usually when I get new equipment like a new camera the first thing I do is go out and shoot and do a bunch of test shots just so I can see how the camera operates so when I get into a real situation I know how the camera is going to act so I thought it'd be cool to take you out behind the scenes of me testing out this camera, seeing what it does, testing out the different modes, and you know, just seeing how the film reacts to different situations. So the first shot I'm going to do is I'm trying to take a picture of this ship behind me and the lighting is very harsh, it's very bright so I think that's a very good first test to do. So this camera has a few modes that you can put it in. You have automatic, selfie, macro, landscape, double exposure, lighting and dark. So reading the manual on the camera, the normal mode focuses between 1.6 feet and 6.6 feet. The ship is more than 6.6 .6 feet away from me, so putting it in normal mode will most likely have it out of focus. And being that I'm shooting film, I can't check while I'm shooting. I need to know these things. So based on that, the landscape mode focuses from 6.6 .6 feet and beyond. So that's the mode I need to shoot in. So I'm going to see how the camera exposes the shot from this far away. Alright, let's see. Let's turn the camera on. And... I'm gonna change the mode to landscape and turn off the flash. So that should be ready to go. And you know when you press the button, it's like, that's it. Like, the shot is taken. It's money every time you print. in my pocket, let it develop. That was fun. That was very interesting. I'm not gonna shoot another shot until I see how that one looks, so I know it fix. All right, it's been a few minutes. Take the film out of my pocket to see what it looks like. Wow. So that came out. I would say perfect. The sky is not blown out. Looks good to me. Looks real good. So, all right. That's a success. So let's try something else now. So the last shot I just did was in direct sunlight. So now I'm going to try to get a picture in direct shade. And I see a parking meter across the street that looks somewhat decent. So I'm trying to take a picture of that. And being that I can get closer to it, I don't have to shoot in landscape. I'm gonna try to shoot in auto since it's within the focusing distance. So let's see how that works. All right, so as long as I'm within six feet of these parking meters, it should be in focus. So I'm gonna leave it on auto, turn off the flash. This is within six feet. So, that's that. Put my pocket to develop. So right after I took a picture of this parking meter, I see the building on the side of me and it's a mixed lighting situation. So you have very bright spots as well as spots that's in the shade. So uh, I'm gonna put the camera in landscape mode and take a picture of this to see how it handles uh, mixed exposure situations. So we're gonna go to landscape since it's further than six feet away. Turn off the flash and
snaps the So let's see if the first one is done of the parking meter. And it is. And I think they came out good. So, in even lighting situations, it looks like this shooting pretty normal works. It's kind of weird watching it come out live. It's like it's downloaded. So the camera did pretty good when you're in a bright situation or a shade situation. And it even did good in kind of a mixed situation. But usually what cameras automatic modes mess up is when you have a backlit situation where it sees a lot of light in the background but the subject is in the shadow. So it usually exposes for the background. So I'm going to try to take a picture with the sun in the background to see if it try to adjust for the sunlight versus the subject that I'm actually trying to film. And in that case then I'm going to have to use the lighting mode I suspect. So I'm going to start off shooting in landscape mode since it's more than six feet away. And if it doesn't come out right, then I'll switch to lighting mode to see if they helps in. Alright, shot taken. In the pocket. And we wait. All right, a few minutes have passed. So let's see what the print looks like. It's actually not bad. The sun ended up being a black spot, that's weird. But I'm gonna try to shoot it in light mode just to see if it changes anything. Also, I don't know what the focusing distance is in lightning and darkening mode. It, do, it doesn't say, I don't know if light mode is lightning landscape or is it lightning auto or what but let's put it in lightning and let's see what it looks like. In the pocket. And we wait again. I would say that I would pretty much trust the camera in this auto and landscape modes to do the right thing and probably only go to lighting or darkening if you take a picture and you realize it needs lighting or darkening. So by default, I wouldn't just automatically use the lighting and darkening mode based on what I see so far. So that's a good sign. That means I can pretty much just shoot and not worry about it. So I have five shots left in this roll. I'm gonna find something to do a macro shot of, and then I guess I will use the other what, four shots to just do whatever. So I found a little flower down here that I'm gonna do the macro shot with, and it says the macro range is between one and 1.6 feet. So I need to make sure that I'm within that range to do this macro shot. Also, there's a catch when you're shooting the macro on this camera. Inside the viewfinder, there's a little circle. And normally you would put that circle in the middle of wherever your subject is. But for this camera, in macro mode, you have to put the circle on the top right corner of the subject. So let's say that works out. So I have it in macro mode, no flash. Let's see, 1.6 feet. So I would guess that's like a foot. So. Shadows in the way. This is so weird. About right here. I can't see the circle. Top right corner. I have no idea how this gonna look. We shall find out in a few minutes. So looking at the macro shot I just took, putting the circle in the top right corner worked out because the flower was in the middle of the shot, but I don't think it's quite in focus. So I'm gonna try to get a little closer to these flowers to see if that helps out. And then I'll use the remaining film on whatever I find. So let's put it back in macro mode. Make sure the flash is off.
that's a waltz on this flower. That's why I ain't trying to get too close to it. He ain't tripping, so I ain't tripping. So I actually might have even been too close in that shot, but I wanted to try something different from what I did last time. So let's put this picture in the pocket and use up the last three shots. So looking at the second macro picture, it looks like being close to the help out. So maybe I wasn't in the focus range in the first shot, but it does look better. I can even see the walls on the flower. There's more details on the leaves. So get close, just not too close, not too far. But now I got three shots left, so let's just take some pictures and see what they look like. And this is like symmetrical, so let's just shoot it. Landscape mode, no flash. Okay. Two more shots. Still in landscape mode. Put this in my pocket. Let's check the picture I just took. Pretty good. Nice and short. Exposure is good. I have one more shot. So this is the scenery that I picked for the last shot. So of course, landscape mode because of the distance. Flash is off. And let's get the composition. And that's the last shot in the pocket. And that roll is done. Open the back of the camera. Empty film roll. So while we wait on that last shot, I have a lot more rolls. So I'm gonna use those for actual photo shoots. Right now it's like the middle of the day, horrible lighting. You see I'm sweating, it's hot outside. So for the next rolls, we're gonna do actual photo shoots and really try to take pleasing images with those. So make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for those videos. Uh, if you learned anything, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. I can give it a test. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Wah, 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 wah.